The Iraq War Report delayed until after UK election. The official inquiry into the 2003 Iraq War will not publish its long-awaited report before the general election, the BBC understands. BBC political editor Nick Robinson said inquiry chairman Sir John Shilkett was expected to confirm in a letter to David Cameron that it would be delayed until after the election on May 7. The inquiry began its work in 2009 and held its last public hearing in 2011. Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg said the delay was incomprehensible. The Liberal Democrat leader said that the public would assume the delay was caused by those criticized in the report attempting to sex it down. The inquiry has been looking into the reasons for the UK's involvement in the 2003 UK invasion which toppled Saddam Hussein and the aftermath of the conflict, which saw UK troops remain in Iraq until 2009. MPS have demanded that the report be published before voters go to the polls in May. Right, right to respond, respond however, Nick, Nick Robinson, Robinson said the process of giving witnesses time, time to respond to allegations against them, which, which began last autumn, cannot, cannot be completed in time for this to happen. He said he, said he expected Sir John to set out the reasons why the report could not be completed in time. In time. The development first reported by The Guardian on Wednesday. Minister ministers had made it clear that the report would have to be finished by the end of February to allow enough debate on its contents before Parliament rises at the end of March, the head of the election. Mr. Cameron has spoken of his immense frustration at the progress of the inquiry but said that its work is independent and it would be wrong of him to intervene. Although the inquiry has never publicly set the deadline for publication, it has been plagued by delays with lengthy wrangling over what documents can be included in the final report. The inquiry reached an agreement last summer with the UK government in which it would be allowed to refer to the gist of conversations and private correspondence between former Prime Minister Tony Blair and US President George W. Bush. In comprehensive Principal Mr. Blair, one of more than 100 witnesses to have appeared before the inquiry, has insisted he is not responsible for the delays and wants the report to be made public as soon as possible. But Mr. Clegg said, said that the country could not wait any longer if the findings were to be relevant to British foreign policy. The public have waited long enough and will find it incomprehensible that the report is not being published more rapidly than the open and the timetable we have now set out, he said. We need to see a much clearer and more defined timetable, known publicly with strict deadlines and a firm date for publication. If the findings, if the findings are not published with a sense of immediacy, there is a real danger the public will assume the report is being sexed down by individuals rebutting criticisms put to them by the inquiry, whether that is the case or not. Critics have long accused the Laster Campbell, Mr. Blair's Director of Communications, being run up to the invasion of sexing of the 2000 dossier outlining the threat posed by Saddam Hussein's regime, claims he vehemently rejected when giving evidence to the inquiry. The Iraq or the other the invasion of Iraq started on March 19, 2003 with a shock and awe campaign intended as a show of force. The U.S. and the U.K. claimed Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. He was capable of using the capital Baghdad fell in April. And U.S. President George W. Bush declared mission accomplished weeks later. Saddam Hussein was captured, tried by the new Iraqi government, and hanged. Insurgency continued British forces and the combat operations in 2009. And the U.S. did so the following year. A total of 170. UK service personnel were killed in the conflict. The Chilkit inquiry into the UK's role in the war was established by Prime Minister Gordon Brown in 2009. Line explanation. Needed conservative MP Bernard Jenkins said Cabinet Secretary Sir Jeremy Haywood will be questioned about the inquiry when he appears before MPS on the Public Administration Select Committee next week. I think we all thought this was coming, Mr. Jenkins said. It just had that smell about it. I think, we I think we deserve an explanation. While a serious Mr. matter, Mr. Jenkins said he did not believe the delay was an election Some issue. People Some people are very exercised about it, he said. It is the third inquiry on an Iraq-related matter. I'm more anxious that lessons are learned from that conflict, from the Afghan conflict as much as anything else. Sir Jeremy, who has the final say over the declassification of documents relating to the war, said last year that the final report would tell the whole story about the UK's involvement. A Labour spokesman said, Labour established the Chilkit inquiry because it is crucial to learn the lessons in Iraq. While the timing is a formal matter for Sir John Chilkit, we have always said the inquiry should report as soon as practically possible. Former Dem Home Office Minister Norman Baker said a backbench debate on the inquiry will still go ahead on Thursday next week.
sponsored the by motion Mr. Baker, sponsored David, by Mr. Davis, Baker, David, David Hamilton, Davis, and Caroline Fabian Lucas, Hamilton, and Caroline Lucas, Lucas to call for the inquiry to publish its findings by February 12th. Mr. Baker said, it is deeply concerning that John Chilcott has apparently decided he cannot publish his report before the election. The British people are entitled to know what was done in their name before May 7th. The debate in a week's time must continue and in many ways becomes even more important.